have, uh, I was talking to Kristen Walla. She's in the Weather Center right now working today also. It, the, the humidity that's gonna be headed our way next week is, it's kind of silly for the time of year that we're gonna be in for how high it's going to get. It's gonna feel very sticky out. It's 88 right now. Humidity's not terrible. The dew point still under 70. It's higher than where it's been the last few days, but it's still manageable. We've got an east wind, 11 miles per hour, hardly a cloud in the sky, and generally fairly quiet across the state. There's a weak boundary. It's technically a cold front, but this thing, all it's going to do for us as it moves to the east will deliver slightly drier air than what we have in place right now. It's not going to be that crisp air that we had uh, last weekend and the first part of this week, and it's going to be quite hot into Friday. Again, mid 90s headed our way for tomorrow. We're going to start to see cloud coverage over the weekend from this storm. It's a hurricane Norma in the Pacific. The storm itself not going to be a problem for us, but we're going to get some of the residual upper level moisture streaming into Texas off the top of that storm. That'll start happening on Saturday. At the same time, in the Gulf of Mexico, high pressure is going to be set up, and that high will drive in those southerly winds over the weekend. So that south wind is going to become more persistent, and with that, we're going to see the humidity levels continue to rise. So a few more clouds over the weekend. It will stay quite warm and then it gets downright windy into next week. We're going to have some 30 mile per hour gusts out of the southeast and with this high moving over the deep south, the wind will be more southeasterly and with that the humidity is going to get just really sticky outside. It's going to be very high on the humidity levels. We'll also have a little day to day isolated shower chance as we move into the majority of next week. Low end rain chances. I think the biggest story is going to be how humid it gets. The muggy meter is going to be near summertime levels here uh, by the middle parts of next week. And with that, the overnight low temperatures are going to stay in the middle to lower 70s with afternoon highs a few degrees above average in the middle to upper 80s. Tonight, 64 clear skies, a little bit of patchy fog possible early tomorrow morning, uh, but it's not going to be widespread if that happens tomorrow. Lots of sunshine. We may have a few clouds sneak in from the west in the afternoon. High temperature of 94. That's just too shy of the record high for the date 96 back in 2016. Winds will be fairly light tomorrow, so waters will remain smooth. One foot waves at a four second period on nearshore Gulf waters. Then we get cloudier. We'll have some pops of sun here and there, but for sure more clouds than we've had all week long. Highs will stay up near 90 for the weekend. Then the winds start to pick up into next week. That's what drives the humidity levels way up. And we'll have a day to day little isolated rain chance uh, pretty much every day next week, along with again that humidity, the wind, and those above average temperatures. You give me all that in July and it looks yeah. good. You give it That's, to me yes. in October and like to, tomorrow <laughs> for perspective. If we had a day like tomorrow in the middle of summer, we would be like yeah. rejoicing be at how nice it <laughs> yeah. is. But late October 94. Uh, we will always find something to yeah, complain about. But all right.